Hey guys, what's up, what's good? Yes, it's your boy, the key story, okay, I, I have a video to do with Paul Wee. Paul Wee, what is good? I'm alright, my bro, I'm alright, my bro. Yeah, I'm fine for getting a sports program, but today is Champions League. You guys should go out, support your, 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 your favor. Chelsea fans out there sending you too much love and hug. The Fufu man is coming again, so... I I, I, I pray for you. Oh, these days, hope you eat. Let's hope you eat some more today. <laughs> We lost a light time note here. Uh, today we're talking about um, somebody that um, lately, I think for, for uh, I don't know this word here. I call, I, I, I mentioned Rema, like, it just pops out in my mind, like, cause I do, I do these conversations almost every day. There's no day I don't do a Rema conversation. So it's more, it's now so imprinted in my head that at some point I'm like, it's like, I, like, I don't know my Rema myself. I'm like, who's Rema? Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. Yeah, Rema is that guy that has put himself in my head and really, he, he really was all of that because he has done, he has outdone himself this time and he's doing a lot for himself. For Rema, what would you say? Um, I know we've asked question before, but that was for the time. But now he has probably had done even times two of that time because now he's doing a lot of good numbers. Whatever he did last month, he's doing like, this just less than some more, this is three months. He has done like double. Okay, he got like platinum less than two platinum less than a week. He got one last week, one now one again this week. So it's, it shows his green. So what, is, what do you think he's doing correctly that is working at this time for him? Dropping bangers. That's what he's doing correctly. Holiday. Holiday, super amazing. Bangers. Like, bro, when Holiday dropped, I was one of those people who just saw it from the get go that Holiday was going to be like a major hit. And I'm all, I mean, he didn't, prove me, he didn't prove me wrong. Holiday came on and just started chatting and talking everything. So. Rema has been very, very consistent with his music, and very, very um, dedicated to his craft, always learning new stuff, always like trying to evolve, always trying to shape his sound and not leaving the root of his sound as well too. So um, it's one thing to be able to know how to sing and the other thing is be able to stay in the minds of people. Rema has been able to do both of them. He, he can sing, he's a very good songwriter, amazing creative, and of course his songs have stayed in the minds of people because of how well he thinks about them and you know the dedication he has put into the craft so big ups to Rema. okay i'm still on Rema here yeah? and then i want to this sincerely sincerely yeah? so um a lot of persons have been have accused um the mavens um the maybe I mean, maybe it's affiliated people so even jonesy affiliated um uh, they've also accused the ybnl guys so accused benson of something called chim farms so, and then, to an extent, a lot of persons have come to say, okay, yes, true, indeed, they are, they are street fans, but then your song is good, again. Yeah. So let's take away the fact that the song is good without streaming fans. Now, it's not, we're not saying he, he uses or he's not using, I'm just saying, what if he uses streaming fans? Do you think the song would be where he is without streaming fans? I don't, now it's a very dicey conversation because now we don't know if he uses streaming fans. Yeah, so we cannot speculate, right? But I can tell you- But they've free, been accused. Yeah, of course, they've been accused. I mean, accusations will come. All these things, all these things definitely happen, but I'm telling you for a fact that his material is good. Everybody loves it. And then you can see how he's also like doing even in the international stage. Okay, let's not even debate about this, right? Like, like on our home front. Let's even see how we, how Rema is doing like internationally, maybe globally. They, maybe they have stream family friends. So, I mean, I, like, I don't know. I can't say that. Maybe they have I, can't, I can't say why I don't know. I, I cannot say that. Yeah, that's I'll, that's I'll, not be, I'll, not be able to, I'll not be able to back that up. I'm telling you that his material is good. His song is good. And of course, um, the international state they are chopping it left, right, and center, which is really good for him. So I don't think that streaming farm or no streaming farm, Rema will still be very relevant. And of course, we can see that the boy is really like smashing everything. Yes, we can see that because he's smashing everything. Moving on, we saw Rema come down as now and three platinum certification in Portugal. Three platinum, three platinum. That's 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 my big moving on. We we're saying, uh, Rema became the first ever Afrobeat act to cross 38 million monthly listeners for the fine, making him the African artist with the most listener on the platform. Two years ago, yeah. Mm. If if you had to name, if you had to, let's say last year, last year was last year was the Banner Boys year. If you, had, if you had to name that person that would have owned the first part of the year, would you think it was Rema? Hmm. It's actually very dicey, but I think that Rema deserves to be where he is right now because of obviously because of his work rate yeah. and then of course the structure around maybe and how they always like push their artists and all, at the end they still down to the artists as, as, as well but i feel like 
everything that's happening for Rema right now, he deserves it. So let's not even like talk too much about that. Yeah, he deserves all of that. Moving on, we've seen that uh, calm down now eligible for the quintuple um, diamond certification in France for the sales of 1.666 million, 1.6 basically million stamping units. Uh, that what that means is about five diamonds <laughs> eligible. How to this fast guy? How do they listen to some? Like how do they? How, how, how do they? How do they manage to listen to? Baby, calm down. And there's no Jumape, Jumape, calm down, Jumape, Monsieur. How do they do it? So calm down is a very calming song, and of course, like when your song goes viral and then goes global like that, like I always say on this on this show, like it, bro, you don't really need to understand the words. Just once the melody is good, right, once the song is good, right, and it has a very good right. vibe, very nice bounce, a lot of people are gonna jump jump into it, jump into the, like the whole euphoria. So I, I know, I know, for example, that. Um, in some other countries, the numbers might not be like that much, yeah. but in major countries where, um, I mean, like where Afrobeat is like doing crazy numbers, Rema's <laughs> calm down is, is going crazy. And nobody would have expected that I would have had like triple platinum or you know, platinum in, in Portugal. That's yeah, crazy, true, true, that's true, crazy. True, Portugal, so, yeah. I mean, like, yo, Rema is breaking all the ceilings possible, and then that's kudos to him. Kudos to him. I'm still a Rema so where um, he's also now eligible for the Queen's Pro Platinum Circuit in Canada for the sales of 400k units, uh, which equates to about five times um, platinum in Canada. Amazing one for him at the same time. We've seen how he got out a little for diamond um, in France, now platinum in Canada. Amazing one for him. And just like I said, he really deserves all that he's getting. Um, for this India, we need to prove them. I, I, I read the news yesterday where uh, CK was level for 20, <laughs> 20 platinum, 20 platinum in India. How? We need to prove these people. How do you listen to some? Is it called that population or something? You know, when Rema came out one time and said that a lot of people were accusing him that he has an Indian sound. I mean, safe to say the Indians jumped on it and then they are taking his song to. <laughs> you get me? So, I mean, like, just leave that in for them. Just leave that in for them. Yeah, we saw where he sold about 1 million units in India and has earned about 150 million on demand stream to the country. Um, making him eligible for um, nine times platinum in India. CK is twenty times. This is nine times platinum in India. I know this is this is very funny because last week we saw Nima, Nima um, vibing to arguably for what persons here. Name five footballers actively still playing football. You want to mention a Nima in conversation? When you put a Nima, maybe in, rather Messi, Mbappe. Nima will join me in that conversation. I was sending my vibe into a song in this car, and um, that was that was a big deal for any artist. Mm -hmm. Big deal. When I mean any artist, even the American artist, that would be a big deal. But to round it up, sorry, Ronaldo just about the weekend. <laughs> Ronaldo is the most followed man. When I mean man, most followed human, most followed human on Instagram. Human being, human being, the most followed soul on this. I, I, sorry, you get clear. The most followed soul on Instagram is Cristiano Ronaldo. I saw him over the weekend um, where his kids were playing, and Rema. Calm down was playing in the background. Now, when you, you saw you saw you saw you saw that stuff and when it happened, what do you think it was for him at the time? It was huge. I mean he posted it. it was yeah. like, Yo, Bro. goats don't post me, or you get me that kind of thing. I'm on something was that he was really excited about. So it goes to show like people have people are paying attention to Afrobeats and people are paying attention to Rema. Yeah. You know, for Cristiano Ronaldo, the I mean the most followed man on the earth right now, you know, you know, streaming his song and probably just playing his song. You know, in the background where his kids were playing and all that. It's, it's a huge, I mean, it's huge. It's huge. If if Ronaldo plays my song, ah, I'll sell that. I'm done. I'll sell this country. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm not going to work it. Yeah, I'm not going to sell it. Well, anyways, yeah, I'm, I'm still on the scene of Rema. Uh, just recently, we saw Olam B. Um, Rema actually dropped, dropped, the, dropped the LD and I'm just between goods and um, talking chat and all. I saw Olam B. Um, actually, uh, having that on this um, story there about and uh, it was a lot of conversation around that because Lambda is one person that we all know that if there's anything Lambda is known for is the fact that whenever he sees that you're trying to come up he's always there with or without financial aid with or without you knowing him he wants to be your, he wants to be in your soccer story so it's as it were that you want to talk about five years from after then you say Lambda is that person that brought me and everything so I saw Lambda doing that and for some persons were like Lambda wants to jump on the remix or should the Lambda song? But then before we talk about that, we saw Lambda um, coming through with Young John, uh, where they had on currency. We saw um, where he came through with um, Omali, and then the song was on this album, the, the, the Capitalism album, where Omali came through with him for Infinity, 
and then that was an amazing one. It made the whole album really worth it at all. Now with Rema, if you were to have this conversation or if you had to say with somebody, what do you think that was for? Like, do you think just a kind of gesture of saying, okay, I like this song, let me play it? Or you think it's a way of saying, I divide this song? I can, I can even tell you, for, Ducky for free, that Olamide's personality is that kind of person that he wants to just help emerging artists. Doesn't even necessarily like mean like, oh, I really like trying to jump on this wave because it's, it's the new wave. If Olamide likes a song, he's going to he's going to get into the studio and send you a verse in less than maybe like 24 hours. That's the kind of, we've seen it many times happen with a lot of artists. We've seen Olamide do a lot of incredible things. We've seen it with Omalay's Infinity, yeah. for example. Yeah. Jumping on it, make the song like a very huge song. He's jumping on remixes, bad jumping on, you know, bad boy teams, jumping, just like young artists, just like trying to support them, even to the, to the portable. Zazu's there, he jumped on it. <laughs> on like, yeah, so, true, I true. mean, Let's let's be honest. That's the kind of person Olamide is. Doesn't necessarily mean that oh, okay, I'm trying to be do. It. No, if he likes the song and he feels like he can jump on it and do anything that to help, because he has an amazing fan base, um, he's definitely going to do it. So I don't think that um, is anything related to cloud. I feel like um, probably they might want to do a remix. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I don't have that information. But if definitely they have a remix, then it's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it, hundred percent for the holiday, yeah. Definitely. Okay, so would you um let's uh let's see what you, the, okay not not something let's see then I have the conversation now yeah. Right. Would you expect a remix for holiday or you expect an entirely different song from both of them? Holiday is doing crazy numbers right now, and holiday um is actually proving itself to be that one song that is really like a banger, like a hot banger, and something that's never going to leave anytime soon. So I, I would think that um, a remix won't be, won't be bad to lift it again, you know. Um, but for a fresh song, I mean, Oliver will always ask for more. <laughs> no, I don't think that Rema is going to like say, oh, no, Baba, no, uh, no, make me do. no. Rema <laughs> is an opportunity for him and, and Lamid is an OG. And if an OG says, not just an OG, a relevant OG, you know, an OG says, oh, I want to jump on this, so it should come as a privilege. So I think that um, Holiday Remix will be good and the single will also be better. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would have loved to ask you a question, but the, the, the people I know will never answer it. When, when you say it's relevant, I'm going to ask you, I think OGs are irrelevant. Well, I know you will never mention it. That's a conversation for another I know day. you will never talk about <laughs> that. But anyways, yeah, I'm um, still on the Olamide and Yama conversation. Um, if, if there's a new project, let's say a new single, um, Olamide has promised us an album which has not dropped forever, mm -hmm. and which has said that may be his last album and, mm -hmm. and everything. Would you want to see that the new single in along this album, or it's just a single offer? Let's just do it and move on from there. I probably might be a single on his album, it would be really nice on his album, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, before absolutely. we leave this place, um, the color if it actually happens, Alam the collaboration with Rema, I know who do you think is going to be benefit more from it? Do you think that Alam Day that will benefit more because Rema is a new guy, Rema is that guy that everyone will talk about, so Rema is that guy that Ronaldo posted his, his, his stuff, Rema is that guy that Neymar is diving to, Rema is that guy that France is diving to, Alam Day is an OG, but obviously not in the conversation now as it is. So do you think is Olamide getting rub off of Neymar, I mean of um, um, Rema's um, exploit, I mean Rema greatness now, but you think do not favor Rema, Rema more because OG is Lebron. Do you go to somebody else's estate and just go through like that? You have to pass through the door. You have to pass through the gate. You have to actually, sometimes you get stopped and asked where you're going. Yeah. So there are gatekeepers in the industry, and of course you cannot write off Olamide's relevance in the industry. So I'm not. For me, I just feel like it's a fifty-fifty thing. It's a win-win. Um, Rema seems to be like the new kid in the block right now, who's doing amazingly well for himself. You know, traveling everywhere, doing tours and everywhere, and everybody's just like jumping to, you know, have him on a remix. I mean, see the remix with Stormzy on. Stormzy, yeah. yeah. So I mean, like I mean, that record actually even proved that you know, Rema can jump on anything and everything. Is mm -hmm. that good? So I think like it's gonna be like a 50-50 thing. It's gonna be a win-win situation. And um I think it's also be very good, like I've said, for you know Lamide to have that kind of collaboration on his own project, which would be really, really good. And for the holiday remix, I feel like it's it would be nice, but if we don't have it, holiday is still a very standard song and they could definitely jump on a new one. So I think that the relationship or the affiliation or the collaboration is gonna be like a 50-50 thing. 50 50 thing is 50 for um allowing the 50 for Rema, so that's the clear one. Oh, but then, guys, this is where you're in the conversation. I'm going to ask you what let's say you have them locked up in the, in the booth in the studio. What would you want them to produce a remix for all day or an entirely different song? Let me see us also on that one. And then, whenever you tell me to do, I'm going to tell them the alarm will tell Rema. 
when they went out of the studio because of you to we'll make a song for you. Guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Stay safe, guys, and remember, be careful.